Welcome to the Regrid Property app. Today we're going to do a quick walkthrough of one of our users' most common workflows, which is finding a attribute, for example, in this case we're going to look at vacant lots using the filter tool and show you how to get that list exported so that you can pull it into another workflow of yours, whether that's a spreadsheet or into another GIS software. So here we are looking at this township in Michigan. Uh, let's say the goal here is to find vacant lots. So the tool we want to use here is Filter. There's a more general tutorial uh, on that, so I won't go too deep into all the nuts and bolts. Um, within that, we've got three quick filters, and then you can type in your own uh, criteria and any of the other fields that we have available in the area where you're looking. So for here, I'm going to click vacant lots, uh, and you'll see that they'll all uh, highlight in this sort of purple color on the screen. This tally uh, that currently says 420 uh, shows you how many parcels within the area that's bounded by this uh, white line here that you can see. Um, so you can see there's 420 here and then there are more on the outside, but this tally only refers to what's shown within the boundary. Uh, so let's say that I want to uh, export those 420 parcels. Um, I might want to look at them in list view and I can click that button. Um, but let's say that I know I want these 420. Uh, I would click export. That'll take me to the export pane. And then from here, I can choose my file format, either a spreadsheet or either of these two uh, spatial uh, options. Um, going down, you can see that 420 again in the boundary should be what you want it. Uh, so from here, I can simply click review data and download and click download here. This will take me over to another page. Uh, it'll say creating and then shortly it'll say download. And here we go. From here, you can then download that. I'll open this up quickly in Excel. And you can see that the uh, property data of those 420 properties is showing up here in Excel. 